Um, you know, and, and we have to do a lot to to change that because a lot of the programming happens when we're not even paying, you know, like we're not even paying attention, you know. Um, I know I had a lot of, um, I remember, this is kind of, I, I always cringe to share this, but I remember when I first kind of had a, a moment of realizing my racism, um, when I was like 18 years old, I moved out to Phoenix, Arizona, and it was like the first time I kind of like moved away from Idaho, you know, and so I was in a city where there you know, it was the, there was a lot more people. So it was a huge culture shock in the sense that I was always surrounded by people. Um, but I remember having this like moment of if I was in a room, like a waiting room, and there was a white person and a black person at that time in my life, I probably would have talked to the white person first. And I was like, Is that that's, you think that's because of familiarity? I was like, that's fucked up. But, <laughs> but I'm all, you know what, like, like I, there was like an awareness of like, that's fucked up but I know that's what I would have done in this situation. It's vastly different now, but you know, at the time, you know, I was 18, like, and it took me, I think, getting away because I never would have said I was, I had a racist bone in my body or a racist thought or, you know, any sort of bias, um, but it was there, you know, and, and, and as, as I've gotten older, I, I keep, I continue to find biases and, you know, either, pre-consumed assumptions that aren't even, I don't even have to be connect, like I don't have to be cognizant of, you know, that are happening. But one thing I do want to say that I I love is um, I, black, I love black women. 